This is the port of Ponta Delgada in the Azores. I believe the name of this island is San Miguel. This is the line of people getting off for a tour in Punta Delgado. Oh! You okay? She tried to run ahead of us. She needs to visit the medical center. So we're getting off the ship today in Ponta Delgada, Azores. We have to go up this spiral staircase, if you know what I mean. I love you more today than yesterday. Ooh. Freedom! Freedom! Here's the ship. There's the buses. I have no idea which bus is which. like rotten eggs by the way. Very steamy. Very steamy place. coming out of everywhere here. Surprise it's not coming out of the street. But they call this Furnace Hot Springs. And this looks like two different kinds of water here. Coming out. You can read those signs. Entering this uh, botanic garden here. That's so beautiful. Let's have a look at this flower right here. Hey, that looks familiar. I think I have those in my front yard. maybe so this is a giant mud bath maybe sulfur and a big oak tree full of acorns and moss growing on it and a guide saying stuff I can't hear There it is. That's some nasty looking stuff. But there are people in it. So Janet put her hands in it. Bow mains. I'll follow her. Hey, there's a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah. 
for somebody exiting the swamp. Mustache. A little bench here you can sit on and admire the view. If you want it too. Do you see these mushrooms? You see that? They're pretty cool. Hopefully, this way. We've lost sight of our group, but I think they are there. So these are hydrangeas, they're just green ones. But up here, see? There's the purple, the blue. forest of it all. We're also finding out our group went a different way. Back out of the jungle, back out of the jungle. Look at this mushroom. Animals all the way down. Driven the bus up near the top of a mountain, or should I say the edge of the volcano. So everyone's taken the more difficult route. Which way do you want to go? These honeysuckle like flowers. Oh, I can smell them too. They do smell like honeysuckle. That whole hillside's covered with them. We walked up this pathway. Took about a minute or two. And I think we're maybe on the edge of something. Something wonderful. Volcano crater, right? That's the ocean out there. And that's the view from up here. Over here, the ship is here. A lot of tourists go to this where the lake is two colors. Got a lot of hiking trails around here. Just got off the bus in the town of Riberia Grande. We're gonna 
walk around, take a look around, go to the church, city hall, look at some cars like that. stairs carefully. <laughs> we made it over to this pattern. The road. That is some uneven surface there. Be prepared. I believe this is their theater. Our guide has disappeared up that alley. She is in some kind of hurry. It's a Mueller de Capote 100% natural licorice, I guess. Liquors? Okay, maybe liquors. More bubble wrap. Lots of booze, all free, take as much as you want, no it's not free, it's actually kind of expensive. Hi there. Hi, what up? I'll give you some glasses and then I will come here to give you some samples. <laughs> Um, well, I can see a little uh, better. Have a it's, uh, wine. Right, so we're getting a free sample of some sort of liquor. Janet's drunk hers already. Not me. <coughs> Yum. It's okay. Tangerine flavor, it said. This is Azor's gin. They spell Azor's with a C. And this is 69. I don't know what that means. So we came back down the street from where that store was. And we walked up to this church, and I'm not really sure of the name of it. But it's got black lava rock. I guess cars don't drive up here, maybe. So let's get some close-ups of it. Is the harbor and of course the rest of the boat ship lots of little restaurants cafes been walking along for a while this is a bunch of uh, tour boats doing different kinds of tours fishing whale watching island tours there's another one ocean tour so there's plenty of opportunity when you come here People have made some artwork along here. Even out where they probably shouldn't have, although it looks like they worked really hard at it. There's this uh, weird cobblestone area up here. And 
of course, these are the buildings. I'm assuming they're hotels. Of course, there's our ship. We're going to go just a little further down. And here we are at the statue of Gonzalo Velho Cabral. And this is the gates to the city, they call it. And there's the clock tower. So let's get a good look at those arches. Keep in mind they're not golden. Looks like we have a church over here. And I'm assuming it's a church. Maybe we could even go in it as a cross. Maybe not. We're leaving this church behind. Going down here, the waterfront's there, the ship's over there. We're going to walk up to this other church. I think it's a church. We're going to take these back alleys where people are smoking and drinking. And I think we found a time capsule that was supposed to open in 2046. So we'll see. I'm going to come back. 2nd of April. Here's the church. We're going to head up this way and then head back to the ship. Because we don't want to miss the boat. <laughs> Get it? Miss the boat? Here's a definite police presence. I see cops everywhere. This is not a pedestrian street. Since cars are driving up on it. Cheese among other things. Lots of cheese. And liquor. And bananas. And of course pineapples grown here on the island. Continuing our journey on down, there's these little alleys going off, and they all have cafes or restaurants or whatever on them. They have Magnum for local beer, 90 cents in euros. But there's also this beer, I believe that says come, and come is 250 a pint. So we walked all the way back through there and down there and then we came out on here and if you want to get a really good look at the ship they have stairs that go up and there's a viewing platform up there um, I'm just gonna get on the ship and look at it and we decided to walk over there to those steps and put our feet in the water now I'm assuming these are mostly locals and they probably don't want to be videotaped. So I'm going to turn this off. So, took our shoes and socks off. We're going to go out here. This area is enclosed for some reason. I wonder if that makes it dirtier. I think over here, right? We're just going to take a dip in the Atlantic, in the Azores, I should say, huh? Super slippery and sharp. Hold that. Yeah, I think I cut the bottom of my foot on a shell or something. And it's ice cold. <laughs> so be careful. It's slippery, it's sharp, and it's ice cold. It actually feels really good. Yeah, but it feels good. It feels so good. Well, we went over and dipped our toes. Down there is a big crab. You probably can't see it, but I can. Red and black. And there's some fish. A lot of fish in the water there. 
small ones. And there's our ship. And our day in Punta Delgada is done. Next up, a five day crossing to New York. See you around. Port Mikey's out. That's right. One more thing. That's the line to get back on the ship. And it goes all the way down there. Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. What are you doing?